What's your crunch army? Where you at? Your motivation guy is back today. Okay, we're gonna be teaching you how to survive the new primal landscape of Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 6. Welcome to the Jungle Bunch Crunch Army, because today, man, the game has changed in ways that no one had ever expected. Introducing new crafting and you know, animal taming mechanics and changing the loot pool as no one has ever seen and done before. I mean, you're gonna have to try to adapt to bring home a victory royale. But lucky for you guys, man, we've got six tips that can pull you through to the end. All right, guys, so now that I got your attention, it's time to get this going. All right, bunch of crunch on me with this scene being brand new. There are a ton of new things that have been added to the game alongside a ton of other things that have been vaulted, all right? That means that the meta that we have now is going to evolve into something completely different to the meta that, that we had become used to in season five. Okay, so to learn the meta as fast as possible and become better than, you know, all the others, which I know I want to, I'm sure you do as well. We're gonna have to play the arena mode more often than the other game modes available at the moment. So playing an arena is the most efficient way to learn a new meta as you're able to land within different POIs, you know, take fights with different weapons and different realistic scenarios and discover what works best for you all while playing against opponents that are against a similar skill level. So if you play in the normal solo, duo, trios, or squad modes, there's really no telling, you know, who you're going to be put up against, which could lead you to develop some pretty bad habits early on. And so by playing against similar skilled players in arena, you're going to be able to learn the new meta for season six a whole lot faster. And you're going to be able to dominate the new season straight away. Let me ask you this. Are you guys having trouble mastering the new meta? If you are, man, don't be ashamed. Look, head on over to ProGuys.com, where our Fortnite coaches can really help you guys grind out everything that you need to know in Chapter 2, Season 6. As with every season, you know, that we've introduced to over the course of Fortnite's lifetime, you know, Epic has introduced to us a brand new variety of shotguns. And the newest ones on offer this time being the Primal and Makeshift Shotguns. So, the Primal Shotgun can be found in all rarities and is pretty similar to the Drum Shotgun that was vaulted back in chapter one. You know, it's a rapid fire shoddy that spits out 12 rounds of shotgun shells in just one clip. It does best in tight quarter fights when you're right up against, you know, other players with its double burst shots capable of just melting through bills and opponents alike. It's crazy. So if you're using the shotgun, you should definitely try and get right up into another player's box. You can just seriously put them in a bad spot. The second shotgun on offer is the new makeshift shotgun. So it's a pretty new weapon that's pretty reminiscent of the pump shotgun, only just is nowhere near as good. It only really has like two shots before you have to reload, which isn't exactly ideal in any sort of situation. But the makeshift shotgun, guys, like isn't really meant to be a primary weapon. It's more like a stopgap, you know, that can be upgraded into either like the pump shotgun or the primal shotgun with the new crafting system. So if you end up with this weapon in your inventory, you should probably try to avoid fights until you can definitely upgrade it. All right, so when the zero point exploded during the zero point finale, it introduced some of, you know, the brand new areas to explore through which reality warping reality waves. So learning their ins and outs definitely is going to be key to your success this season. All right, definitely do that. So the first major new change. All right. That can be found right at the center of the map. The deserts and the zero points are gone. And now taking center place is the spire. So with plenty of loot to go around, you know, a mythic boss and a ton of rotation potential with zip lines, this POI is going to be absolute mayhem, guys. Like if you want to focus on scoring some high risk, high reward early game the limbs, then this is the drop spot for you. If not, you might want to drop somewhere else. All right, next up is the bony burbs. And you know, Okay, this location may have replaced Tilted when we only just got it back, but really this POI is still pretty cool. And you know, it's a cool primal form of the fan favorite location. Just like any rendition of Tilted, the bony burbs are likely going to see a ton of action. So if you're landing here, you should definitely be prepared to get an elimination at moment's notice. The trade-off, however, is all the bone parts that can be scavenged here, allowing you to craft powerful primal weapons. All right, so the final new major POI is the Colossal Crops location. And this area has replaced Colossal Coliseum and you know, kind of matches last season's location with Frenzy Farm which was removed back in season four and really hasn't had a remake until now. Okay, so you might not end up landing at any of these locations in the future, but you should definitely make sure that you know all of them well so you can just really fight confidently if you end up having to rotate through them. 
All right, let me ask you this, guys. Bunch of crunch time. It's time for the question of the day. Let me ask you this. How do you feel about the new Primal Fortnite Island? Like, are you missing sand tunneling and desert? You know, are you, you know, really enjoying the new Primal landscape? Let me know down in the comments below because, you know, we definitely check out every single answer. So for a motivational moment, I just want to encourage you guys. I know a lot of you guys are unhappy and, you know, you really have to really get used to this new season and new map. And some of you guys missed the old map. But you know what, man? Everything that happens first and everything that is new, it does take time to get used to. And I just want you to stick with it. Don't give up. You know, don't quit. This is the time where you kind of have to get through this, like, this introduction period and just kind of getting used to this new season and new map but i'm telling you definitely you're going to keep going you're going to be successful and you're going to do great all right so keep your head up all right so this is going to sound a little bit strange but it's going to be absolutely essential to master as the season goes forward okay so you're going to need to master chickens because they're perfect for rotating around the new map so in the new season chickens were added to fortnite isn't that crazy i'm still like tripping about this they can be found just about anywhere on the new map, but in order to really use them, you need to catch them. <laughs> so we suggest that you box them up, you know, because they do have a habit of just running away pretty quickly when you try to approach them. All right, so they function pretty similar to the balloons that we used to have way back in the first chapter of Fortnite. So the only difference is that, you know, they don't take you all the way to max height. And once you have the chicken, all you need to do is really jump. You're going to be able to cover a decent distance before landing back on the ground. So we're sure that these chickens are going to be incredibly useful as time goes on. And some players have already started to find some pretty interesting strategies to pair with them. You know, some players are using chickens with spicy peppers to rotate at incredible speed, which is dope. You know, others are just yeeting them in mid-flight so they can just get the drop on their opponents without really having to worry about any fall damage. You know, who knows how the meta is going to evolve around these little cute, cuddly animals. You know, all we do know is that probably is going to end to be pretty, pretty interesting. We weren't sure if the bounty system that was introduced in Season 5 would stick around, but it turns out it has. And it's become a lot more interesting with the addition of Season 6. So there are new NPCs on the map, and the rewards that everyone is offering have been expanded as well. So in Season 6, you know, some of the NPCs will offer you a bounty. Some of them can be hired, and some of them will offer you a weapon upgrade, just like in previous seasons. However, now some of the NPCs will offer you the ability to disguise yourself as a prop and it's a pretty big reward and you know we have no idea how it's definitely gonna affect the game going forward that's not all either like certain npcs like raven will actually give you the opportunity to purchase rifts for gold which is you know going to give you a serious rotational advantage over your enemies and finally and this might be the biggest npc change of all of them npcs might actually give you free items just for talking to them and some of these items can be pretty overpowered as well from anything like animal bones to a literal legendary shotgun the first time that you talk to any npc in a game they're just going to drop you a free item so this is a little bit busted and definitely is probably going to end up changing so you definitely need to enjoy this while you can all right guys so the final thing that we're going to talk about in today's video is the new bows that have been added to the game all right check this out like each of the three base bows is pretty easy to find as ground loot you know, they are the makeshift, the primal, and mechanical bows, and each of them has their very own upgrades. So the makeshift bow is the most simple. It can be changed to the either the mechanical or primal bow with mechanical parts or animal bones, just like any other makeshift weapon. And it's, it's when you get a mechanical or primal bow that things really, really start to get fun. All right, so the primal bow can be transformed into either the fire bow, which will light buildings and enemies on fire, or the stink bow, which has has the power to fire out stink bombs if upgraded correctly and meanwhile the mechanical bow can either become an explosive bow or a shockwave bow each of these bows has their own pros and cons so it's definitely going to be pretty interesting to see how they affect the meta as the game develops over the course of the season and with all that being said guys like it's pretty obvious that we shouldn't be crying about the lack of snipers in this season right away all right, bunch of crunch on me. Okay, there was a whole lot of new stuff on the island this season, and you know, it's just changed in so many ways we could have never expected. But you know, with hard work and dedication, we know that you're gonna be able to make it to the top. And uh, you know, I just wanna give yourself a better chance to really have success, then you know, you guys gotta check out the rest of our channel where we upload new Fortnite tips and tricks all the time. If you guys like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. I believe in you guys, so keep grinding, never quit. I'll see you soon.